everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I thought I would show you guys how I create stylized drawings from reference. So there's been quite a few portraits of people that I have done in my own style and I've been able to sort of like translate the image into my own style, if that makes sense. So this is the reference photo I'm going to be using as an example for today's video and um, what I like to do first is sort of just like analyse the person's facial features and get an idea of where they all are and everything and then I will just go into Procreate and start sketching. So when drawing faces I do just like to get the overall shape of the face um, and then most of the time I will draw the hair before drawing the actual facial features but sometimes I do it differently um, but yeah I'm just gonna go right in and start sketching his face. <laughs> Um, I don't make the person's jawline too accurate at first because I feel like it all sort of comes together a bit more once you draw their facial features and then um, if I need to then I'll just sort of edit their face shape and stuff like that so yeah. So I'm gonna start drawing the hair next, um, so obviously Jungkook has his hair tied up in this photo and he's got like a bit of a fringe but it's parted down the middle so I usually do the sketch quite messy at first and then I'll just kind of tidy it up later on. <laughs> So you can already tell it's the person just by like the hair. I know some people do illustration where they'll just draw the person's hair and not their facial features or anything and you can still tell um, the person it is by either the hairstyle or their clothing. Me, like when I'm doing sketches I will simplify everything down because that is essentially what my style is, like simplifying everything. And, um, yeah, I just kind of try to break down all of these um, different features that they have and just kind of incorporate that in the sketch. And then 
I'll sort of explain how I do it with um, shading and colouring and everything later. So from doing the hair you can already kind of tell that the jawline doesn't look quite right and this happens to me all the time. But I'm not gonna change the jawline just yet because I want to draw the facial features and then change it a bit. So that's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> okay, so now moving on to... his facial features. Um, so I actually draw faces in like kind of a particular way. Um, <laughs> so I'll start with the eyebrows. So I'll draw the eyebrows first. Okay, um, and then I will draw the nose. It's kind of a um, odd way. I know some people start with the eyes first and um, then do the nose and kind of just work their way down, but I feel like by drawing the nose I'm able to get a better idea of where everything is, because obviously it's in the centre, so it just makes it easier for me. <clears throat> so as you can see with the nose I've kind of simplified so next we're going to focus on his eyes and obviously his eyes have a very unique shape to them so I usually try to make them like slightly bigger um, just to like enhance it a bit more but you can still tell that like those of his eyes. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just like kind of about exaggerating it really. Even though it does look simple, you can tell that I have exaggerated it. Now I just do same for the other eye. I do always try to get the eye shape like as similar to it as I possibly can. But I still do remember to simplify it down and draw it in my style. So, kind of like this. And then I always keep the um, iris quite simple as well. I don't actually draw pupils. <laughs> I don't know, that's just like my style. I just don't draw them really. But, yeah. That's um, his eyes done. I think I might actually change that this eye a little bit because I'm not overly happy with the shape of it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, so now I'm going to draw his lips and then I'm going to change the jawline because obviously it does not look accurate at all now. So just gonna... Usually sometimes what I do is I'll draw like a guideline for the lips and then I'll come back to them once I've changed the shape of the jawline. So I'll kind of just do like a little sketch like this and then I just um, correct the jawline a little bit. Thank you. 
Okay, so this is the finished sketch. Um, I'm not going to film the line up because this video will already be ridiculously long, but I will show you some of the shading process and everything. So, yeah. Okay, so I've just started on the shading now, and I usually use either the round brush or the um, medium hard brush tool when it comes to shading. But um, as you can see, I've looked to see like where the accurate bits of shading in the reference are, so then I can make sure that the shading's in the right places, pretty much. And then I'm just going to use the blending tool to blend it all in. Okay, so this is the finished product, just showing you it side by side. And um, yeah, so as you can see, I added shading to the hair and the clothing and stuff like that. But um, yeah, the style that I did is like my more sort of like simplified cartoony style um because I thought it would be a lot easier to explain and show to you guys but yeah anyway that is it for this video um I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time bye